people get up in the morning, put on the uniform and go out for people they don't even know. They don't even know and probably will never meet. The least we can do as a city is stand up, support them financially, support them emotionally, support them in every way we possibly can because if you don't have police, you've got nothing but anarchy. And I don't think any of us want to live there. Um, but if you would, for just a second, talk about this community relations, uh, the whole reality of what that's supposed to be about. Well, you alluding to what the chief is doing. Yeah. With it. You, you know, folks, in, in terms of the community outreach, it, it's, and I qualify it, it's my take, it's a, it's a big propaganda effort. Again, we're going to go out, we're going to engage you. And the principal psychodynamic at work here is that you're going, to, you're going to believe what you prefer to be true. You need to believe that you're going to be safe, that the police are, in fact, doing their jobs. We have your back. So when they have these functions, that psychodynamic kicks in, their smiles, photographs, slices of pizza, cold drinks. The reality is, obviously, that we're not getting the job done. You know, I, I got asked this morning, or pardon me, this afternoon, I spoke at the Dallas uh, Sigma Chi, and they, the guy says, how do you speak? Don't they want to fire you or hang you out to dry? And the fact is, my hedge against vulnerability, number one, I know the Lord given me a mandate, so I'll speak as long as he, uh, he allows me to. Number two, my hedge against vulnerability, I reached out to Mr. Roberts, and I think the public needs to know and then with me, I'm blessed, I'm 65 years old, I don't need the work. So I'm privileged to be in the position I'm in and speak to these things, but the community outreach is largely, again, propaganda driven by a feel-good message done for public consumption, really at your expense. And I, I, I wish, you don't know how bad, I, I'm not a man with hubris any longer, not after my, my breaking experience at the hands of God, but I wish they'd call me downtown and say, how dare you? Because I would immediately respond, no, no, how dare you? How dare you put us in harm's way in major fashion? How dare you continue to lie to the public and tell them that they can walk their dog at one in the morning and be safe? I'm constantly called and asked questions by people in Deep Ellum, West End, other areas of Dallas. They never see police. I work the M Streets. Everyone knows the M Streets. On any given day, I'm the only officer available for the M Streets. But with my running around the city answering calls, I will not see the M Streets at all for days on end. And yet, they continue to insist that everything is copacetic. That's astounding to me. I still haven't made that connection intellectually. Um, I know this, folks. We have no reference points for where we are. We can't harken back and say, well, 30 years ago, we did this when we were in similar circumstances. Never, never have you seen a concerted effort to undermine policing in a country like you're seeing in America by the liberal progressives. Now, let me say this point, I, I wanna give the mic back. Right now, we're in a policing paradigm that's based on consent within constitutional context. I would argue that we've left constitutional context and we did so a while back. But this is morphing. Sh you know, shortly we'll be in a, a new policing paradigm based on coercion. Because now we know, right? Don't we know in our culture that policing by Consent doesn't work. It doesn't work any longer in Baltimore. It doesn't work in New York. It doesn't work in Dallas. And so what, what works? Acquiescing works. What is it that you want? We're going to give it to you. You want that officer disciplined? By golly, we'll discipline him. What is it that you want? Because we're going to give it to you in the name of liberty, but it's not liberty. It's license. Liberty has context. License doesn't. License is chaos, and that's where we're heading. 